Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Wolfrock, and I talk all things hockey. This video, I'm going to be going over the NHL teams that have been underachieving the most so far into the NHL season. So, obviously, it's only been 10 to 12 games, so you really can't base the entire season off these first couple games. But I'm going to be going over the couple teams that should be at the top, but are towards the bottom of the league. So, but before we get into the video, guys, if you guys do enjoy it all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1K, and you can join the Wild Family. Much appreciated, but let's get straight into this video. The first team, in my opinion, that is underachieving a little is gonna be the New York Islanders. So obviously, they are last place currently in the Eastern Division. Um, obviously, they've only played nine, they've played less than basically all the teams. But I still, they, they still haven't been playing good. They're three, four, and two. So they've won three times. They've lost four in regular, uh, in regulation time, and two in overtime or shootout. So obviously, could be better, but could be worse. But obviously, they should be doing better. Their team is built very good defensively. And I feel like they're built, for, they're built very well in the East. Um, but obviously, it's a very slow start, and we'll see how their forwards are doing and see what they can prove on. Okay, so we're looking here at their skaters, and... Honestly, it's not very good at all. Their best player is Matthew Barzell. Obviously, that's pretty obvious. He's the best player on the team. He is their superstar. So he's expected of that. He has 10 points, four goals, six assists in nine games. You're, you're expecting him to do that. He's a plus four, 24 penalty minutes. That's a lot, but hey, it's okay. He's putting up the points. But then after that, where's their depth on their team? Usually they have the depth scoring, and right now it's not happening. They have Jordan Everly, who's usually putting up the points, but right now he only has five points in nine games, minus one, not very good. Then their captain, Anders Lee, is not doing good either. He only has five points in nine games. Nick Letty, he's not supposed to be that. He's not supposed to be that far in the lineup like that. He's not supposed to be up there. Um, Pajot, they traded him. They they traded for him and yeah he produced good last season but right now he only has four points in nine games obviously it's not good slow start same with brock nelson josh bailey there's a lot of their good players are not playing good right now and once they start uh putting up the points islanders gonna be nasty that's just what they are they are last season they were the year before that they're a very good team but obviously it's the depth score and they don't have any super superstars besides barzell and that's just what they're known for. They're known for their depth and their defense. And we'll see if they can do that. Because right now, obviously, if their depth is not scoring, Islanders aren't a good team. But they play the Penguins today, uh, tomorrow when I'm recording. But I'm pretty sure I'm posting it today. But, yeah, if they're playing the Penguins. They should beat the Penguins. The Penguins are eh, up and down, up and down. So we'll see. It's, it's going to be a 50-50 game. I really don't know who's going to win that game. Hopefully, the Penguins do. But uh, Islanders are good. They're not playing that good right now, but I do expect them to come out of the slump because that's just what the Islanders are. Um, their goalies, Varlamov, is playing okay, 3-2. Um, and two. Then their Ilya Sorokin, who's supposed to be a superstar in the league. Everyone is yelling. I got yelled at when I made an Islanders video saying, who is this guy? And they're all saying he's going to be super, super good, and he, he's 0-2 right now. He's 0-3 because he lost in overtime. I don't know. Maybe it's just a slow start. He's young. I get it. But goalies aren't doing too hot. But we'll see if they can step it up because right now it's not looking too good. Okay, the next team is going to be in the North Division. There's actually two teams in this division, but I'm going to be going over the worst one first. The first one I'm going to be is the Calgary Flames. This team is supposed to be very, very good. I predicted them before the season even started when they made all those good free agent signings that they're going to be the top in the North Division or top two. And right now the team is just, it's, it's, it's not looking too good. Um, they're four, five, and one. Four wins, five regulation losses, and one overtime loss with nine points in 10 games. Obviously, it's not the greatest. It could be worse. It could be the Ottawa Senators. But hey, Calgary Flames are not doing too good. Um, their roster is insane. But for some reason, it is just not clicking. And this Canadian division is honestly looking pretty damn good right now. Their teams are looking pretty solid. So we'll see if Calgary can step it up and sneak into the playoffs because right now, it's not looking too hot. It's not looking too hot. So looking at the player stats for the Flames, we have Johnny Gaudreau, obviously regular season machine. That's all he does is put up points in the regular season. 11 points in 10 games, six goals, five assists. You expect that from the guy. Um, yeah, you really can't expect much, uh, much more from him. Elias Lindholm, 11 points in 10 games. Hey, you love that from him. Um, yeah, two goals, nine assists. That's what he's there to do. He's gonna keep doing it very good. Then obviously you have Matthew uh, Kachuk. He's gonna keep doing his thing. Eight points in ten games. Obviously it could be a little more, but you really can't complain. He's gonna keep doing his thing. Obviously he's a pest. He only has nine penalty minutes, which is actually pretty good for him so far. But we'll see. Uh, he's gonna keep it up. That's what he does. Sean Monahan, eight points. So they're they're good players. Are putting up the points. I just feel like it's either goalies or the depth is not popping off. But 
right now all their superstars not superstars all their all-stars and very good players are are doing their thing and we'll see what else is looking like michael backlund he's okay luchis you expect that from him uh manager pani that's fine uh Gir giordano he's not putting up his norris trophy winning uh season like a couple years ago or is it last year i don't remember but yeah there's i guess their team isn't that good that chris will tan um he's two points but yeah honestly it's just their death pieces are not are not doing good even some of their defense aren't doing the greatest but hey if their superstars keep doing what they're doing they're not superstars but the players that are very good keep doing what they're doing maybe they can come out of the rut but who knows because see how their goalies are doing markstrom Four wins, three losses, goals against 2.3, save percentage, snack 20. He's not playing bad. He's not playing bad at all, if I'm being honest. Um, David Riddick, on the other hand, is not looking good at all. That's a yikes numbers right there. But Markstrom, he's going to play more majority of the games because right now Riddick is not looking good. But I don't know. This team is very good on paper, and I'm expecting them to keep doing good um, in the future. But right now, it's just not it's just not working out for them. And we can see if they can change it because right now, once again, it's not looking good. And the other team in the North Division is going to be the Vancouver Canucks. This one is kind of iffy. They've played 14 games, the most in the NHL, I'm pretty sure. And they're still fifth in the North Division. Um, they have 12 points, 6 wins, and 8 losses. This team is either really, really good, like smashing teams, or getting smacked. Like, it's crazy, this team. They have a really good roster, but once again, it's just not playing games good for some reason. Let me show you what I'm talking about, about their previous games. You can see the last three games, they played Toronto, they lost seven to three. They played Montreal, they lost five to three. And they played Montreal again, and they lost six to two. So that just shows right there. See what everything else. Um, they beat Winnipeg, they beat them. Cool, it's obvious. Yeah, see, like they beat, it's Ottawa. I can't really base this because it's Ottawa. See, they lost seven to three, five to. Like they, it's, they literally just let in way too many goals. Every time they lose, it's, it's like they're getting smacked like they haven't lost like close they like got smacked there smacked there smacked there they won a shootout smacked smacked one 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 then they got smacked these other three games so they're just very inconsistent and when their defense is off like they're off off so that's just that's not good right there for the canucks but we see how their roster is doing in the stats department and we'll go from there so we have Quinn Hughes leading the team in points, 15 points in 14 games, one goal, 14 assists. But yeah, cool numbers and everything. He's minus 10. That is not good at all. The whole team is basically minus. As I'm looking down here, there's a couple non-minuses, but basically everyone is minus. That's not very good. But a your young defenseman leading, obviously you want that, but you, you have so many superstar forwards or becoming superstar forwards that are, are not first, but Quinn Hughes, 15. You have Brock Besser, 13 points in 14 games. You have JT Miller, 13 and 11. Bo Horvat, 12 and 14. So your big names are putting up the points. They are. Elias Patterson, 9 and 14. He could be doing way better. He's expected to do way better than that. I'm expecting him to be above point a game, 100% at the end of the season. So see if he can turn up his game. But other than that, his, their, their good players are putting up the points. So there's really just their defense. So I guess losing like Tan of last year was a huge loss because right now their defense are not looking good at all. They picked up, uh, what's his name? Nate Schmidt, and I guess he's, yeah, he's not doing his thing. He only three points, 14 games, not very good. Um, Jordy Ben, yeah, their defense is just not that good. Jake, Jake Vertanen, mm. Travis Hamannick, I thought he was good, not anymore. Yeah, it's just their defense. Let's see how Holpe is doing. Uh, three and three, three goals, three point six goals against average, and eight point nine. Yeah, that's not good. Goalies are not doing good. So they're splitting games. So Demko has played more games than Holpe. I don't know. Something weird is going on in Vancouver right now, and I just don't like it. They're deep. I like their roster. I like their team, but right now their goalies aren't playing good. Their defense aren't playing good, and their forwards they're scoring, but not on a consistent basis. So they need to really figure this out because right now very inconsistent and they just keep getting smacked and smacked and smacked and that's like play ottawa okay and the last team that i think is underachieving in this season so far is going to be from the west division i'm going to say the arizona coyotes are not playing how they should be and they should be in playoffs right now but they are not so i'm gonna go over and see what players are doing what and see what they can do better okay so right now christian vorak is leading the team with 11 points in 10 games six goals five assists do you like that obviously i don't think he should be your best scorer but hey you'll take it connor garland this guy's good 10 points in 10 games four goals six assists you like that good plus minus on the kid too you like that a lot nick schmaltz 
Five goals, four assists, nine points, 10 games. You like that? You got Phil the Thrill Kessel, seven points in 10 games, minus six. You expect that from him. He's fat and lazy. Hey, that's what he does. Um, Jacob Chikrin, he's doing good. Broussard doing good. Um, Clayton Keller, since he got that contract, he hasn't been doing good at all. Four points, 10 games. You need to do better, Mr. Clayton. I know you're like four feet tall, but it's okay. You got to do better. Um, but yeah, that's not looking good. Uh, Ekman Larson, he only played two games. Has he been hurt? What, COVID? I don't know. But he should be doing better. Uh, no, he's actually above a point per game. I forgot he only played two games. So expect him to do better. Bear Hayton, this kid's going to be very good. Expect it in the future. Right now, you can't expect much from him. But the... I don't know. Maybe they're not supposed to be doing good. They were good last year until uh, Taylor Hall went on their team. But I'm exp I don't. I still like this roster. I think they have what it takes if the forwards keep doing good. Because right now, Broussard could be doing better. I think Ke if Keller keeps doing better, that would be good for them. Kessel can pop off with over a point per game. And I bet you uh, Garland will keep doing good. But we'll see their goalies. Because last year, maybe they were doing good because Kemper was like a Vezo Trophy finals if he didn't get hurt. Um, right now he's played eight games, two and five. Ooh, that's not good at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, 2.6 goals against and nine save percentage. It's not great, but it's not brutal. But obviously the win loss is not looking good right there. And Antti Ranta is actually two and oh. Three is a goal against average, 9.22. It's not bad. Maybe they played a little booty team when they did that. But hey, I'm expecting Darcy to play better. I like Darcy. I'm expecting to do better. But we'll see because they're right now the roster in front of them is not playing the best especially on the back end but hey we'll see we like the coyotes in the west we'll see how they do obviously i don't expect them to hit top three in the west because right now obviously the west is stacked with blues knights and whoever the third team is i don't know avalanche so obviously they're gonna get fourth if anything so we'll see let's see what the schedule is see if they have a chance to catch back up in the season um they play Oh, postponed. They play postponed. St. Louis. That's an L. Postponed. L, L. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for you Coyotes fans. But we'll see how they do. Because right now, obviously, they're not doing good. We'll see if they can step it up in the future. But yeah, guys, thank you. That is going to be the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, you can drop like, subscribe to the channel, please. We're on the road to 1K. Join the Wild Family. It would be much appreciated. I'll see you guys in my next little video. See ya.